Um, I want to start off by saying it's really awkward doing a video by myself because Minnie's not here. So, yeah, just wanted to say that. But, um, I ordered a new phone and it's finally here. Um, I got the iPhone XR, so I'm going to be doing, um, an unboxing of that. Okay, so I got the 128 gigabyte in blue. Um, so yeah, let me get it opened up. As you unbox it, it's my, um, SIM card and stuff. And then they put the box inside of another box, which is crazy but yeah okay um the first thing it has is the directions obviously that usually comes with these and then they have apple stickers you guys already know that yeah that's all okay um Next, we have the phone. Um, it's actually really heavy. I just noticed, like, I know it's smaller than my 7 Plus. Let me take it out. 7 is dirty, so excuse that. But I have a Jet Black, also 128 gigabytes. And size-wise, I like a bigger phone. And that's why, you know, I was scared about getting this phone. But it's not that big of a difference really and yeah and this phone like i said this phone's way heavier than this phone it's weird okay um what i the next thing that's in the box is the headphones um it does not come with the jack my seven came with the jack i lost the jack adapter and i would like another one so try the apple um my charger and my charger box. Okay, so now we're gonna power it on. So we get the hello screen and I'm gonna unlock it. English, just our normal stuff. Okay, I'll be right back because I'm doing this. This is so cool. I guess something they have now that literally all I have to do is have my phones near each other and it automatically syncs the stuff through and it pulled up like a barcode that I have to scan and I think that's really so cool. now it's getting me to set up face ID once again like I said my phone is still transferring the stuff over I guess while I do this so I don't know what I'm doing that's why I need mini here just gonna face it okay I'm just gonna try this. Okay, oh, do it again. Wow, that was really easy. That like literally had to move my face in a circle two times. All right, so now it still says it's setting up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's focusing, but it's setting up. So now it's back up. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'll have to put my card information in again, but if I do, then I'll be setting this up later. Set up later. Let's add the wallet later. All right, my app watch. So now it wants me to pair my app watch. So let me do that. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. All right, continue that. Um, I don't know what this is, but I guess I'll share it. Um, uh, don't share. I don't know. Out to turn on display. Um, I don't know what that is, so we're just gonna continue. Well, I guess it needs to update, so and that's the only option I have. I'm gonna let this update and then I'll be right back. Okay, so actually, while that updates, um, I can go ahead and start the comparisons between my seven and my new XR. Okay. 
So, on the 7 Plus, it has a 5.5 retina display versus this one. This one has a 6.1 retina HD display. Um, their cameras are the same. Well, they both have 12 megapixels. The only difference is this, my 7 Plus has wide angle and this one does not. Um, this one, as you guys know, has fingerprint and this has face ID. My 7 Plus has a A10 chip versus this that has an A12 chip. So this I'm hoping to be very fast because it's one of Apple's fastest phones as far as their new releases. Um, they both could go one meter underwater. So they're both water resistant and that's the same. Um, one thing that does bother me, well, I always wanted to try it, was never able to, is wireless charging. My 7 Plus does not have wireless charging, and I've always wanted to try it. Like, that's something so simple and easy. But this right here does have wireless charging. Um, the 7 Plus comes in 32 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes. This one comes in 64, 128, and 256 gigabytes. And that's as far as... The jet black color. The display is on this phone is 5.5 inches and this display is 6.1 inches. So obviously the screen is covered and the screen has more. Yeah, it's just the screen's bigger. Um, one thing um, I don't really use it like that, but like when I'm trying to like open into messages and stuff and this is one thing I'm going to miss is my 3D touch. My 7 Plus does have 3D touch to where like if I for instance want to open a message from someone um, I would just have to hold it down and it would show it without me actually even having to open it so nobody will ever know that I opened it but this one they took that away unfortunately. This phone has regular portrait mode versus this one. This one has um, an HD portrait mode. Um, it uses a wide angle with just the one camera versus the two cameras. This camera is a tele telephoto. Yeah, this is a telephoto camera versus this one. It just uses this one camera and can still do that. Recording on this phone is better than this one. Um, it has more options as to how much FPS you want to use. Um, but obviously, um, I have to give this to the 7 Plus is that the zoom quality will be better by having the telephoto camera. So that's one thing that, you know, I had to settle for. Other than those, other than those few things right there, those are pretty much the differences between the two other than the color. Um, I love how this comes in more colors because I've had, I had a blue 5C, it's somewhere in here, and I didn't really have it for a long time before it broke, so I'm happy that I'm able to get another blue phone, you know. So yeah, that's um, all I have for the comparison. Okay, so it's finally up and done updating. So it brings me to a screen where it says... It brings me to a screen where it says swipe up to upgrade. I'm going to swipe up to upgrade. Username, password, I guess. Alright. And it's still not done. Oh my gosh, you guys. It literally takes so long for these to upload and stuff. It, it just takes a long time just for me to move my stuff over. Mm, guys, now it's on and I hope it's actually officially on and it's not just going to cut off on me again. Okay, it says restore completed and it's loading again. And it says it may take a few Now it gives you pretty much a tutorial of how to work everything. Um, I feel like I'm pretty fine with that so far because my sister has a phone and if I don't know how to do anything. I know she could help me with it. And pretty much it just set me back up. Um, yes. 
um, it's just loading up all my apps and stuff that I have. It also added its own apps. Okay, now that it's up, I'm going to use the phone for a while and I'm going to come back with an overview about pretty much how I feel about it so far and was it worth the upgrade. I just got home from work and got ready for bed and I told you guys I was going to come back and let you guys know how it went using a whole day. I'm actually using the camera to it now. I li I'm literally in love with the camera, period. And yeah, I do feel like the upgrade was worth it even though I still love my 7 plus the only complaint I may have is um I would like it just to be a little bit bigger but I'll grow to get used to it just because you know I just all right I'm with Manny now and I'm coming to close out the video before I post it because I forgot to close it out I've been very sick and this is a face that you want Numbers. Bye guys. They coming up the bitch while I'm coming up the court fully drenched. Make up and hate a rain, get the dirt quenched. Style doing them in this pro, very trench. These birds copy every word, every bitch. Oh, gang, gang, got the hammer in the wrench. Hammer in the wrench. Hammer in the wrench.